Anyways, <laughs> so let's do an actual yield problem this time, okay? So let's say we started with, I don't know, um, 10 grams of iron oxide, uh, iron 3 oxide. Um, <coughs> if we got a 35% reaction yield, how many grams of iron would we have made? Okay, is that okay? Let's see if I remember all those numbers. So what did I say? We start with a mass of iron oxide of 10 grams. If the reaction yield, so the percent yield, was 35%, Let's actually do that 35 point. Uh, what was the original mass, or what, sorry, what is the mass of iron that you made? Is everybody okay with that? So again, you're going to have to convert this to moles. Okay, because why? Because iron and iron oxide weigh different amounts. Okay? So if you're just trying to do it by mass, you're not gonna, it's not going to work out. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out the number of moles of iron oxide. Okay? So how do we do that? So You guys can help me whenever you want. It would be awesome if you guys, one of you could calculate the molar mass. Anybody got it? What was it? 159.69. 159.69. Is that anybody else? Can anybody confirm it? So we can cancel that and cancel that, right? And we've got now, so 10 divided by, well, we don't have to do this, but um, um, I'm going to, well, I'll just keep it like this. Moles of Fb2O3. Okay, so what's the uh, number of moles of iron that we should have made in this equation, or in this reaction, if it all went to completion? How would we figure that out? If it all went to completion? <coughs> Anybody figure that out? Guys, gotta be faster than me. Just do it like the last problem. Does that make sense? Does it not make sense to anybody why I did that? Is anybody able to speak or understand English? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, does it make or not make sense why I did that? Yes. It makes sense to one person? Anybody else? Yes. Okay, oh, it makes sense, makes sense. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, so. Is that 35% yield for this reaction? What yield is this? Huh? 100%, right? Okay, so how are we going to get the percent yield? Well, the percent yield equation is just like any other percent equation. It's the part over the whole times 100. 
so it's going to be um, the essentially expected, oh, sorry, sorry, the actual moles over the expected moles times 100 per second. So do we know all of these things? Do we know the percent yield? Help me out, guys. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Do we know the actual yield? No, we don't know that, right? Do we know the expected yield? Yes, what is that number? 0.125, okay? And do we know 100%? Yeah, okay? So let's just rearrange this equation to account for that, so remember, we can kind of make this, if it helps you to think about things this way, we can kind of just do this. So when we do that, we are going to multiply both sides by expected yield. So expected yield times the percent, it's an ugly percent sign, but whatever. Yield divided by what? Good job, 100%. And that gives us what? The actual yield. Okay. So when we do that, now this is the actual yield in moles. Okay. So we're going to take that number that's still in our calculator, uh, multiply it. Okay, let's just write it out. So 0.125 moles iron times 35.0 percent right, divided by 100 percent, right? So what cancels out? Good job, percent, right? So we take that times 35 divided by 100. And that gives us the number 0.04 Three eight moles of iron. So what is this telling me? If I had a thirty-five percent yield of this reaction, I would be make I would make 0.0438 moles of iron from ten grams of iron oxide. Is everybody okay with that analysis of it? Any questions on this one? Okay. So good job, guys. You want to put it in grams? Um, if you want to, do you want to put it in grams? Let's put it in grams. That's a good idea. That's okay. No, let's put it in grams. So what do we do? Sarah, what do we do? Multiply by the weight over one molar. Well, what is that called? The molar mass. The molar mass, yeah. And so what is it? 55.85. Cancel, cancel. So, so what did you guys get?